What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel. Thank y'all for tuning in. We on episode 44. And in today's episode, we're going to be putting in the kitchen sink. We got a white farmhouse sink that we're going to be installing. It might be a little difficult. It's super heavy. But I got to go inside and get some measurements, put some beams up and all that good stuff. So thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe. We got our heater running because it is hella cold right now. It's freezing. And she is sitting on the couch cold. But this is the area we're going to be working on today. We're going to have to put the sink up here and measurement and just take a chance. Like we've been taking chances with everything else. So let's get the sink out. So, here's our sink, and we have to, first of all, make sure it's in the center of the counter, and then we can, for one, start with tracing around the bottom, I'm thinking, and then working our way down from there, but it's going to have to be in the middle, and then, like, on the edge. Farmhouse sinks, this part of it shows, so we'll have to cut even, even the top parts of these cabinets to get it straight down. And then what I'm thinking, and I have saw it before, is to run some beams under here where it can sit on. Um, Cause it doesn't have the side handles where, they, where it sits on the top of the sink. So let's just get started. Right. I think that's about the center. Let's see. So looking at it from right here, this kind of looks like the center of the drawers, right? I think so. But we're gonna have to bring it to the forefront. And then cut um, cut the hole out of that after we uh, trace it. All right, let's try to trace. Well, you know what? I didn't even take the plastic off the off the counter. I guess I should do that first. Life show y'all the hanging shelves we did yesterday. Excuse my look, but we hung shelves yesterday on this side and on this side. And 
there alive. Grab it to my pen. Oh wait, before you do that, isn't it gonna hang on a little bit? Like an inch. Why than that? Maybe as long as this part is gone, we can we can hang out, right? No, because we don't want to cut this too far back. I just want to hang up. Yeah, right above this, I would put. Push it back a little on that side. Taking a chance right now. Don't know nothing about no sink. I'm so sorry. No sink installment, but the research we did do. I know I know how to cut a hole in something, but. Let's move this back in the box. All right, y'all. So I am a little bit nervous, but fuck it. Bad. My eye got chopped. That's not by bad. I mean, I'm gonna have to. What happened? My eye got chopped by that sawdust. Put some glasses on. I had them on. I need to uh, sand this. This ain't a bad cut. Oh my gosh, baby. You did a good job. Good job. Appreciate it. I almost got it. Oh my goodness. My wife just cut out our farm house. Where's the. Oh my gosh. We're just gonna have to cut this too. We also can use this for something. I can use that as a cutting board, actually. Alright. 
So, since here, you have to, like I said before, cut. But how long? We gotta measure this part. This. Put the thing right for you. <clears throat> No, it doesn't have to be all the way up, out. Well, we might as well just cut off this. Yeah. And that's it. All right. All right. This sure is not too many cutting boards. No, this don't cut. piece that I had to cut off look how thick that was that took a lot of power and on the way up we got a couple scratches on here but we're gonna repaint these anyway so that's all right now we're gonna put the we're gonna put the sink right here and uh we both gotta hold it though he can't record it because we can't let it go all right all right just cut another piece off small little edge let's see if this is it now Kayla got sawdust in her eye. She won't put glasses on. I had them on. They're short. Well, she get mad at me, y'all. Yeah, Just fit it again. Gotta cut one more edge. <laughs> All right, after cutting a million more, a million more cuts, it's taking forever to get that perfect fit. here though there's more space right here and there's space under here I don't know how to I mean we already cut it so we can't fix that part we probably could just I mean nobody can really see that though we painting white anyway um and I of course I got it evened out so next thing to do is put some I gotta drill some beams underneath the here um, that sits at the bottom so that it can hold itself up. 
so that it can hold itself up. So let's see how long I need those beams and then we'll go from there. Okay, so this is what I meant about frames underneath. And then I'll nail these into the wall and then sit the base down right here. I got like a slight measurement of how uh, deep it needs to be. So I'm gonna put another frame right here and then I'm gonna nail those in and then we'll see what the sink looks like. All right, so I just nailed the frame in which the sink will sit on top of that. I'm trying to decide if I can put another frame or not, but let me put the sink in and test it out. Put. I feel like that's gonna be in the way of the drain, though. All right, y'all. So here we go. We got the countertop in. We got the sink in with the frames underneath. I might add one more frame um, while we still have the cabinet and. All we have to do is probably sand it down. I think we're going to keep it this color. We might stain it. And then tomorrow I'll come in and probably make the hole for uh, the faucet. But we have our farmhouse sink. Y'all leave a comment. Let me know what y'all think about it. This really took more time than y'all think because I had to keep going back and cutting out more and more angles. I might even have to put another beam under here. But... As of right now, guys, we have our farmhouse sink. I'm very, very happy with it. Make sure you like this video. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe.